Spence, your chief encouragement officer, back with Moving the Chains. Let's Jan Spence this thing with the ARC method. So what is the ARC method? A couple of weeks ago, I told you that several of my clients that I had recently trained had shared with me that just before they were going to an appointment, they said, let's Jan Spence this thing. And what they meant, part of it, was that they were going to apply the ARC method. So this week, I'll teach you the A. The A stands for the agenda and the time. So any phone call, a, a drop into a customer, um, even an email, or even someone popping into your office or a customer calling you, you wanted to uncover what is the purpose of the call, rather than it going on and on and on without not really knowing where you're going or surprising someone in the middle of the day and you just start rambling and sharing information and yet you've interrupted them and, and on an important deadline or maybe they're getting ready to go into a meeting, you want to cover that agenda. Hey, the reason I'm calling is because I need to talk to you about X. And then part of that A is that we want to be very specific with our time. How much time do we need? Five minutes, three minutes, seven minutes, 20 minutes? Because we want to give that respect to them. That builds trust with you and your colleagues and your customers by being specific with the time. This is going to help you manage your time and your priorities by being specific on the agenda as well as how much time you need. And then they confer, agree that that works, and then you can have the discussion. So there's only one arc that I know of, but it's not going to keep you from reaching your goals. Go make forward progress and keep moving those chains. Yeah.